The Order of the Arrow and Cub Scouts. Hmm. Hey, Scouter Stan. Just want to talk a little bit about the Order of the Arrow ceremonies for Cub Scouts. Yes, you heard me right, for Cub Scouts. A lot of times they do crossovers, they do a lot of really cool ceremonies and stuff, and that has officially changed. Uh, so you need to be aware of this. Uh, the ceremonies team for your local chapter are the people to contact uh, to do that ceremony for your Cub Scout pack. Scouts that are involved in a ceremonies team are part of a troop or a crew and they will be there to do the actual ceremony. Now the ceremony they do can be for a crossover or an arrow of light or a combination of both. So this is something that can be very special for your Cub Scout pack. As of this year, uh, 2021, uh, the ceremonies are actually laid out by National. The ceremonies that they've actually come up with are for the Order of the Arrows uh, ceremonies team to perform. Now, I, I put a link down below, they call it the doobly-doo, I put it down there uh, so that you can download that ceremony. One of the major things that have changed in these ceremonies is that we, as an organization, are respecting Native cultures. So we are no longer going to have a Native uh, regalia or costumes or any of that kind of stuff. The team that performs this particular ceremonies that are spelled out uh, are in regular uniform with the OA sash. Now this is the full regular field uniform with all the stuff on it. So if you have an Eagle Scout, make sure they have the Eagle medal on the uniform along with all of the things that they would normally wear to a court of honor. So this should look really sharp and you want that team to have that sharpness because Cub Scouts really attach to that a lot of meaning. Now the OA and the ceremonies team will be also available to Cub Scout packs for their blue and gold and they can actually take on some really interesting roles. Back when I was an advisor for the OA, we did fundraising so that we could lower the cost to every scout going to NOAC. So it was a fundraiser that we offered to Cub Scout packs to do their food service. Now we didn't do anything <laughs> extreme, okay? It was spaghetti dinners, it was the typical stuff, uh, but we did all the service and we did all the cleanup and we did everything for the pack. Now, if the pack is doing something like a uh, potluck or something of that nature, the OA can come and help serve the potluck and actually do the cleanup afterwards for a donation. So this is something that the pack can work out with the Order of the Arrow. Now, there doesn't always have to be a donation attached. The Order of the Arrow, the chapter that's local, that you would be in contact with, they, they are doing this to help recruit and promote the order to troops. So as the scout goes through Cub Scouts, they see the order of the arrow. They're aware that there is a honor society within scouting, and they will work towards that. So this is very important for the charter um, uh, the charter organization to contact your local chapter and get them involved. Most of the OA is the older scouts. These older scouts become role models for the Cub Scouts. They see them and we want them to move forward in scouting. I want you to make sure that you go down to that link and download that PDF that has the actual ceremonies on it. And 
all the other ceremonies are null and void. So, unfortunately, if you had a tradition of something, that is no longer allowed. So you have to use one of those ceremonies. Those are the ones that were written by National, approved, and that's what we need to do. It's wonderful that you're getting that group together between the Cub Scouts and, of course, the Order of the Arrow. Having the Honor Society of Scouting being there as a role model for Cub Scouts to look up to, that is a fantastic thing and I know you do an excellent job so keep that hard work up and I will see you on the trail